Hi, and welcome to ZTech News. I'm Johnny Z with a slightly different view here. In today's episode, which is episode 10, uh, we're going to be talking about that computer salespeople, we're not monsters. We're not here to eat you or scare the bejesus out of you. We are here to help you out. Um, just to be totally clear here, um, I've been working in the industry now, or actually the IT industry for 25 years, been dealing with computers since day one, uh, since the early 80s. Um, I'm quite knowledgeable. I know my stuff. Um, I know how to make a good machine. I know how to, you know, listen to listen to people and understand their needs and give them what they want. Uh, I'm not here to upsell you anything. I'm not a slimy salesperson. I'm not a slimy car sales uh, car salesman to to get you to upgrade to stuff that you don't really want. But I am here to help you out, and it's not just me. It's the team that I work with, and the team that I work with, I'm very proud of. Very good guys, all of them, all knowledgeable. A lot of them have lots of experiences. I mean, they're all nerds. They know what they're doing. They experiment. They try stuff, and we, and them and me take all these experiences, mash them in our heads, and bring them to the store and explain to people. So, number one, um, when you come to the store, don't be afraid to talk to us. We're here to help you. If you don't want to talk to us, that's fine. I, we totally understand. You just want to come in, grab something, and leave. That's cool too. But if you have questions, and if you're not sure what to get, or you need another a second or third opinion please come up and talk to us find us we're around we're there just let us know um i mean i hate coming up to people and say hey can i help you you know if you see me say oh by the way look at my name tag john see talk to me and let me know what you want and that not only that does that go with for me that goes with everybody of the whole team every person in the store that i work with is like that and in our particular store and i i don't want to give away what store i work for but we strive for customer service we want our customers to leave the store happy and happy with what they bought again we're not there to say listen you want this i can get you something better for this price no 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 what we do is we listen to you what you want we ask you okay what are you going to be using the computer for what is it going to be you know used for two three years down the road you know if it's just basic use we will sell you a basic computer if you want something that will do autocad and what have you we will steer you to that and and don't get us wrong if we suggest something that's a little bit more expensive from what you had an idea about we're not doing it to upsell you and get you to waste more money no that's not our that's not our mo we don't want to do that to people that's totally wrong don't don't think like that what we're there for is to show you listen if you're going to be doing autocad we're going to recommend this laptop with a discrete graphics card to make your life easier when you're working on your designs if i could sell you a cheap laptop that's no problem but it's not going to do what you want it to do and you're going to be pulling your hair out because you can't do what you want to do and then you're going to come back to me and say listen you know you sold me a crappy machine just listen to us and we're not there to upsell you we're there to show you what you need for what you're working again experience lots of it up here is just coming out of my ears we want to share it with you so if we say you know spend the extra five hundred dollars and get a better laptop that means we're telling you listen it, yes it is more expensive but it will make your life a hell of a lot easier when you're making drawings when you're playing games when you're you know if you're doing database work there's reasons why we're upselling you to something it's because we feel it's going to suit your needs we don't want people coming back saying you sold me the wrong thing we're here to listen listen and that's what we do second of all um come in prepared into the store if you have ideas of what you want to get and you have specs in your mind come with that information write it down have it in your head just let us know so we can be prepared to offer you the right product 
if you come with no information uh, we have to spend time digging that information out of you and it seems I don't know it seems kind of not creepy but it seems like you know um, I don't know it's weird it's just we don't want to start digging all that information sometimes we have to uh, some people just don't know what they want uh, and for what use the computer is going to be and we got to dig that information and it's difficult to try and find out because we're not mind readers you know I can't do the the Spock you know mind meld on you to find out what you want just do a little bit of homework let us know what you want talk to some friends and then come with that idea and then we'll help you out so it's easier for us and for yourself so when you're when we're talking back and forth we can get something what you're looking for quickly and efficiently and get you what you want so that's important so come to the store with a good idea written down whatever um uh, third thing um if you want to buy a custom built machine so you're buying bits and pieces and what have you again google 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 is your best friend do some homework do some research uh there's that uh pc parts picker online where you can pick all your parts and come with that into the store and then we can go through each item and suggest okay that's perfect for what you want to do that's great you may want to upgrade this because again like one of my episodes do not chintz out on a power supply if the power supply is a cheap, a cheap power supply and it dies it will kill everything else in the machine so we want you again we're not <laughs> i just want to make sure we're not forcing you to pay more we're make we're telling you pay more so you have less headaches down the road that's what we try and do we want to help you so if we suggest a more powerful power supply take that advice and let us know if you don't want to spend the money that's fine with us we don't care we don't it doesn't matter we make no commission so what we want to do is just get you what you want to do but again if we try and sell you on something more more uh, expensive it's not to make you spend more money it's to make sure that you get the right item so you don't come back to us and say hey why'd you sell me a crappy machine uh another thing that's important with um uh, you know um yeah, this is a little bit of a touchy conversation but we like customers who come into the store and are happy um yes i know that can't be guaranteed every time people have bad days and you know it rubs up on other people i understand that i have bad days myself too but i have to bring my a game every time a customer comes into the store put my issues away and help uh people out but if you come to us like that it's very difficult to help you out when you know there's not much communication you know there's not much you know there's no love between the two people and love in, in a sense that you know that sort of human contact you know be nice to each other type of thing that's what we want yes i know it's difficult but please come into the store you know a little bit happy-go-lucky so the experience can be very smooth very good we'll find you what we'll find out what you need we'll get it for you we we'll make sure we get it at a good price uh we'll recommend what's on sale and make sure that you buy because we buy stuff on sale trust me we don't buy stuff that on uh on employee discount because the some of the sales destroy our employee discount so we make sure you do that we want you to leave the store happy we don't want you know people leaving uh, angry or pissed off or what have you we want everybody to be happy so if there's that little cohesion uh, between us and the customer it just makes things a lot smoother and we can get you out of the store so if you just you need something and you want to get out you know be a little bit nice we will get we'll be happy to get you out of the store no problem we'll get you what you need and get you going type of thing um, so the, it's just the reason why I'm bringing this up is like it's it's frustrating sometimes being working in retail plain and simple it, it's not easy it's difficult at times um, not only is it a lot of physical work that we have to do but there's also a lot of you know uh, mental work that we have to do and figuring out what people want and uh, you know um, wh how to help you out the best way so we're doing both things at the same time so if if the relationship between customer and and um and uh, and the retail employee is good 
from there things blossom and i'll be quite honest with you i have a lot of regular customers or just customers who come back now to me and say john i need this you really helped me out last time i had a customer that i recommended a um and uh, what was it a d-link uh router it was the 2600 uh ac 2600 model and he came in and told me john i love it thanks for your recommendation solved all my problems and just by sheer luck i was talking to another uh couple about the exact same thing and showing them that thing that that same router and they and that other customer chimed in and said listen you know listen to john he knows what he's talking about he you know he fixed everything i sold this to the customer the same router i haven't seen him come back so if they don't come back, that means it's good news. I helped them out. They got what they wanted. I solved their issue, and that's it. So if they do come back in, it's like they'll remember me because of that customer service. And we try and do that. It's important that we do that. One more thing I just want to bring up before anything else, and again, it's a little bit difficult. It's frustrating when we're trying to help you out and you cut us off and you make a phone call to your buddy your friend your co-worker to ask your opinion on something i don't want to minimize your friend and buddies and co-workers knowledge they may have more knowledge than we do we don't know but the thing is the experience that we have the experience i have the experience of us being nerds and trying out all this stuff and playing with all this stuff on a daily basis we know what's good we know what's bad please listen to us we know what we're talking about we're not selling you crap we don't want to do that we want to make sure that you're happy and you get the right thing so please listen to us it gets it's really difficult if you're walk away for an hour and talk to your friend while we're halfway through the sale or halfway through the transaction it's kind of disjointed because i forget where we left off and what we're talking about or what have you it just makes it very awkward and very difficult to work with if you come in talk to your friends first make a list of stuff we want to do and we'll go from there if you're not sure you know i sort of overblown you with some information you don't need to buy anything that day. You don't. Take your take a day. Go back. Talk to your buddies. Go out with, for coffee, for beer, or whatever. Chat with them some more. Make Take both sides. Take our side, take their side. Mash it all together. And you come out with something that you want to do. And remember, this is your machine. This is your system, your TV, whatever. You make the decision at the end of the day. So just take both, put them together, and that's it. Anyway... Uh, that's about it. So just, you know, let's let's be civil out there, people. Your sales guy, we're not mean. We're not stupid. We're actually quite nice people. We know quite a bit. So let's work together and get you what you want. And, you know, we can enjoy chatting afterwards over a coffee. That's, a bit, that's about it. My name is Johnny Z. This is the, uh, what are we? ZTech News. And this is episode 10. And if you like, please click below, click on uh, the subscribe button, because we'll be doing a lot more shows. And follow us on Twitter, at ZTech News. And that's it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.